Hey guys, what's up? Um, today in the video I just want to do something a little bit different. I actually am going to make my first live gameplay commentary when it comes to infantry. Actually, this is going to be my first infantry video at all, I believe. Anyway, um, the main emphasis of this video is to give a little shout out to the SKS. I know a lot of people have been talking about this gun and it's got a lot of hype and I just want to make my own video because it is well deserved. Anyone and everyone should um, be told about this gun because it's just that good. With the combination of tugs and some good gameplay, it is probably one of the most overpowered kits in the game right now. Um, so just, just to start off, uh, to let you know what I'm using, SKS obviously with a flash suppressor, no foregrip and nothing in the second slot with a Cobra. I prefer the red dot sights, um, but I do like the 3.4 on some long range maps. But for the most part, I'm sticking with the Cobra. So yeah, mainly I'm just going to be running you through what's going on in this video, just telling you what I'm thinking, um, how I'm playing, what I'm trying to achieve. So yeah, let's get underway. So when playing Recon, of course, whenever you... Um, get to a flag, you always want to put your tugs down straight away because it is the best asset of your whole kit. It is what makes and breaks this kit basically. And also, you want to protect your tugs as best as possible. Make sure you try to make sure you always have one around. Oh, LAV coming around, so I'm just going to hijack it out of here and flank around a long way. Because the LAV is there and I'm no use anymore, I'm going to actually head back to A where it seems we are losing. Grenade for this guy on the bottom of the staircase. Better hit a sign, of course. But yeah, this map, um, this gun definitely excels on certain maps more than others. Um, my favorite map for actually using this gun is what we're playing on right now, Grand Bazaar. Any sort of long, narrow hallway sort of thing is just an absolute best situation with this gun. So now when we're approaching A, we want to actually go the longer way. We don't want to go for a direct approach. It's a lot riskier. And whenever we're taking shots, we want to be trying to use in cover. Whenever we're unsure, we want to be using tugs just like that. Checking who's coming or who's not. I saw someone in the alleyway down here coming from D, so we're just going to head back here to protect. Because we actually have um, most of the flags right now, and they only have a couple of points to approach from, we want to defend as best we can. Ooh. Almost there, just got outgunned. 3%. Uh, we're losing E. Go check that out. I think the LAV might be at E, so we might no, be no use, but never hurts. As always, as you're approaching a point, you might want to zoom your minimap in and out a little bit, see if you can get any free spots. Shoot that guy through the middle. And now I'm just going to um, jump in this LAV for some free protection. I like to use the LAV as protection while I'm capping the flags on the, a few certain points, like points where it's E where there's lots of places where you can get attacked from and there's not too many safe places, uh, nice places to jump in the LAV to just get some free protection while you cap the flag. Now we're just going to flank around to A. Just want to check our corners. As you can see here on the minimap on the top right, there's quite a few people here in the alleyway, so I might actually just ignore A for right now and just see if I head up there and give my team a hand. See if there's anyone coming. Oh. Alright, so I'm going to hand down that now. Ah! That was 
really bad choice making my part. Didn't see that guy until right at the end and got unlucky. Gonna spawn this teammate, he's got better positioning than the rest of it. Mine. Wanna try to get on A, get the tugs down, and watch out for respawns as best we can. Our uh, common lo spawn location, so A is across the road, which you gotta, you gotta watch for, like over here. So getting some cover behind the bus is a good spot. Now that we've got the cap, I want to pick the tugs back up. And we've got a 5 cap, it looks like. C and D have been taken, and there's a couple people in the alleyway here, so I'm going to head up there again. I'm pretty sure a couple people are going to turn around as they work, uh, work it out. Res, nice. Okay. Now it looks like they're taking uh, D, so we're going to head through the alleyway here. Because I'm sure that's where a few people are going to be heading themselves. We might actually... Uh, want to place the tugs closer to the exit. Check the corner. No one coming to me, though. Someone in this alleyway here, so just quick. I want to get the tugs down. Let them beep a few times, see if anyone's around. And then get in the position. There's a guy behind me. So I'm just going to run back here and get some cover, then turn around. If you can retreat to cover before you um, open fire, it's the best option. This guy's going to head back, so we're just going to chase him, see if we can get him before. Oh, he's going to get around the corner. Oh, I can't hit him, it seems. But yeah, um, while we're heading over to A right now, I also just want to talk about like tugs versus Mav. I use tugs myself personally because the amount of kills I've gotten from it when someone's trying to actually destroy it is huge. Oh shit! Well, I got lucky there. I'm gonna treat. Let ourselves heal up. I'm gonna flank through B here through the alleyway. So th I'm gonna upload this in parts. If people uh, like it, I'll upload all the parts, but I'll upload in probably like 10 minute seg segments to see if anyone likes it. We'll see how it goes from there. Yeah, that's a big old clusterfuck over there, so we'll try approaching somewhere else. We don't have a tugs right now, so we need to be very cautious. Always checking our flanks. There's a there's a couple people on the other side of this wall here, it seems. I'm gonna give this Humvee a use.
try to get some ammo here off one of these supports. There we go. And now we have a tug. Just want to head for the flank 2B. Might actually get this infantry first if I can see him. He's already gone. Tugs down. Try again. We want to try and get the tugs to the point where it can detect as many people as possible. This is a huge clusterfuck. There's a couple people in here. We'll see if we can get one. Got one. A few people outside as well. When peeking around corners, we want to try to expose itself to as little amount of danger as possible. Oh. There's guys behind us, so we want to try and get some cover behind here. Yep, and get blown about M320. Res, maybe? This, is, this spot back here is a nice little cubby. They can peek down the alleyway. Nice double kill. Now there is people coming, uh, attacking A it seems. So we need to watch our flank. I'm going to see if I can get some more ammo and put a tug behind us. Nice, right, so no one's there right now. Probably give another little peek down here and then probably head over to A. Yep, one's coming right now. See if we can get behind this cover first. Pick it up. Pick it up. 